Good morning guys from Pismo Coast Village. It's our last day here and it's also our last day in the van life but we will get back to that later. Uh, today we're going to show you around Pismo Coast Village RV Resort. Uh, it's our second time staying here and we've just totally enjoyed it. I always enjoy it. <laughs> I mean like what's not to love? You're right by the beach. You hear the ocean roaring every night as you go to sleep and you have walking distance to uh, downtown Pismo. If you like to walk the pier or you like, you know, the traditional small beach town things like saltwater taffy or something like that, Pismo has that to offer as well. You know, we've never walked all the way over there, not all the way, but the uh, eucalyptus grove with all the monarch butterflies is totally within walking distance, like piece of cake. We really should do that on this trip. They're yeah. supposedly here right now. But it's one of those things that we kind of have taken for granted because we used to live here for many years. So, but we took you there last time we were on the Central Coast. So we've stayed at a lot of RV parks and this is very much an RV resort because they have a lot of amenities. And through our travels, like I said, we've stayed at a lot of them. The pride of ownership is very present here. There's a lot of places like, hey, you got your electricity, you got your sewer, hey, that, that's it. You know, leave me alone. <laughs> but, but this place has nice end finishes, lots of things for you to do. It's the, you know, like the kids are always riding their bikes through here. It's safe for them. And it is the type of place where parents could uh, just kind of just let their kids go and do their thing and relax. Yeah. Uh, also, it was a Monday morning and we went out for a walk like this, you know, to enjoy the coffee. And they had probably like five employees just in our short walk, cleaning Long. up and <laughs> straightening up and then tree trimming people. Just real pride of ownership. And it's very refreshing nowadays. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, first things first, because we're walking up on it first, basketball courts. Fully stocked general store. An on-site restaurant with our favorite, an Oak Pit Barbecue. A seriously legit arcade. And a huge laundry room. Best feature, in my opinion, heated swimming pool with dedicated lap swim in the morning. Who doesn't love a round of mini golf? Beach access. Not sure what to call this building, but it's an enclosed viewing area with benches to watch the beach. One of the cool things that's going on here right now at Pismo Coast Village, if you're keeping up with the Thomas Fire, the RV park is, has partnered up with several of the trailer rental companies in town to provide places for families to stay who are displaced by the Thomas fire. That's great because it just shows heart. It does. Sometimes it's not about what you get, it's about what you give back. Exactly. So one final thing, we don't see them doing it right now because it's like a little after 8 a.m. But they have a bunch of trucks and a storage lot and they store RVs for folks so they can just come over pull into the campsite with a car, not have to drive the big old truck over from wherever they're uh, coming from and start camping. Very novel concept. It's not supposed to rain in California. What's this? Okay guys, we are back on the road and heading towards Paso Robles. I guess I ought to give you a little bit of an explanation as to why this is our last day of van life. And it's because their heater quit working at this beautiful Road Trek uh, Class B. And that's a pretty critical component. You know, we woke up to uh, it being 46 degrees. And that is, you know, that's a little cold, even for our Alaskan blood. But Sky River is going to hook us up with another unit. But I think the positive spin that can be put on this is the fact that we got this kink uh, noticed so they can get it worked out for the future owner. Because anybody who has bought an RV, new or used, knows that there are going to be trips back for service. There's just way too many systems and components on these things to not have something just act a little screwy on you. Any RV or car, for that matter, that you purchase is going to have some little bugs to work out. The most important thing is, is how your service department handles it. And the great thing about Sky River, they got us in the morning that we called and said there was an issue, and they're giving us something else to drive. You know, it's kind of cool because now this is fixed for whoever is going to purchase this beautiful rig in the future. And it really is lovely. It has all of these nice finishes, and it's been awesome to drive. If we just stayed warm, we'd be 
sticking with it. And I have to admit, I'm a little curious about what kind of rig we're gonna get next. I think it's all gonna be good no matter what. I kind of feel like we were just starting to find our rhythm with the van life, but change is the only constant. And this kind of demonstrates perfectly why we have learned to take this, I don't know how else to say it, fly by the seat of your pants approach because you just never know what's gonna happen when you're on the road. And you have to be kind of gumby, like, you know, just flexible and agreeable to whatever comes your way. The more we plan, the more the plans change. <laughs> How's it going? All right, how are you? Doing great. Are you Ben? Yeah. Okay. I'm Larry. Nice to meet you, Larry. Yeah. All right guys, here it is. It's a 2016 Leprechaun by Coachman 23QB, probably meaning queen bed. But so here's the deal. We are going to give, do a formal tour of this. It's gonna be its own dedicated video before we move all our junk in. And then we still haven't done like the full blown tour of this one that we've had. So once all our junk is out of that, we're gonna do the tour. So those are gonna be separate. But now, it's time to do an RV swap. All right, well this feels like a mansion compared to <laughs> the uh, Sprinter van. We love that thing. It's gonna be sad saying goodbye, goodbye to the old van, but we're in an American uh, Ford chassis and a Coachman Leprechaun. This is nice. Yeah, we even have two floors. There's a step, there's a step up to the <laughs> yeah. bedroom and bathroom. It really is amazing how much extra space you get with a Class C versus one of the vans. And let me just show you where you get a lot of it. So, open the door. The Sprinter van is only as wide as this right here. But you have a solid 12 extra inches when you're dealing with such compact spaces, two feet makes a big difference. All right, guys, it doesn't get any more real than a day like today. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we will see you later.